Moreland's always been quite a progressive council and, and the community have always been quite supportive of that. So over the years we've always had strong support for our bike strategy, for our open space strategy and for our climate action strategy as well. Carbon management strategy was Council's formal commitment to becoming carbon neutral by 2012 for its corporate emissions. Council has been actively reducing emissions in our buildings, in our fleet and right across our corporate emissions. Our focus mainly is on the buildings that consume the most energy, so we focus a lot of attention on uh, reducing the energy consumption from those buildings. At Faulkner Leisure Centre, uh, being an aquatic centre, um, there's an enormous amount of energy that's used to heat the pool. So the key thing that we've done here at Faulkner is to introduce thermal pool covers which contain the heat of the water and stop evaporation overnight when the patrons are not using the pool. And that combined with some optimisation of the heating, ventilation and air conditioning system here has produced a 40% reduction in energy consumption. The savings in this facility alone uh, equate to tens of thousands of dollars every year. One of the most exciting projects is the bulk change of our public lighting, which if we implement over the next couple of years will reduce our emissions by 5,000 tonnes per annum, which is hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of savings every year. Public lighting doesn't always sound exciting, but if you consider the impact it can have council by council right across the country, it's huge savings that can be made. Another area where councils can make a big impact is through the planning scheme and through working with the community on ensuring that when they do build a new house or when they uh, renovate an existing place, they actually inc include environmental performance into the building. Our community is very engaged and very active. Therefore, the Mullen Energy Foundation, the role they play and the programs they offer are often really highly attended. What people come to us and say to us is just tell me which one, which solar panel should I choose, what action should I take. So we're very focused on providing people with the breadth of information but actually able to give them something that they can actually do tomorrow. Here at Impact Digital um, they're an exemplary example of a business. Uh, five years ago they moved into this new facility, they have 30 kilowatts of solar PV on their roof, um, they've undertaken a series of other sustainability measures, water tanks, uh, energy efficient air conditioning and made a significant step to have a business that's carbon neutral. What we work with them is actually assisting them in managing their carbon footprint, giving them advice about, uh, about actually how they can effectively measure their energy consumption. It is actually not just a, um, a sustainable um, step but it's actually a smart business step. Most of the things we're doing can be easily replicated in the average domestic home or small businesses. So if we're insulating or if we're improving efficiency in lighting and air conditioning and we're draft sealing, it's exactly the same principles but just on a larger scale. The actions that we take are quite simple to undertake. While energy bills are really complex, uh, the issue of climate change is, is co uh, complicated. We know that taking action is quite simple. The message that Council's really trying to convey to the community is, is it is easy. We have the answers. So we're seeing the impacts. We know that we need to do more, but ultimately we're seeing that the action that we have to make is, is possible, real and, and is, is here today.